Today I have a six pounds oven stuffer roaster. And this is a chicken that's already seasoned. It's in a cooking bag. However, I'm gonna take it out of the cooking bag. I'm gonna cook it in the Copper Chef pan. And this is becoming one of my favorite pans here in the kitchen. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is start by putting about a pound of cubed potatoes into the pan. All right, I cut these into quarters. I'm just going to cover the bottom of the pan with them. And then I have about a pound of baby carrots. And we're going to sprinkle them in too. All right. That's going to kind of serve as our rack. Let's just put a little bit of olive oil on these. Just a drizzle. And then I'm going to season them with some parsley. All right, now the oven roaster is in a bag inside of here. So let's take a look. All right. Now there's cooking directions on the bag for how to make this with the bag that's inside. But I'm going to take a lesson from Eric Thies, who sells these Copper Chef pans. He cooks the chicken on top of the vegetables. And that's how we're going to do this. I'm just going, I'm going to keep the seasonings that are on it by just uh, sitting it in the pan. So let me cut it open. I'm just going to pull it out. Sit it right in the pan. Now the legs are already tied together on here and you can see the chicken is nicely seasoned. I'm not going to use all the drippings in that bag. Right, I'm just going to take a little foil and cover this to start with here. Just to keep the heat inside. When we get closer to the end, I'll take the, heat, the foil off and um, we'll let the chicken brown. I'll just pop it in the oven. I set the oven at 375 and we're going to leave it in there about two hours and 20 minutes. I'm going to uncover it for the last 20 minutes. Okay, I'll be back. All right, supper's ready. Check this out. Look at that chicken. Very nice. I just want to check the temperature on this. All right. It's 187. 185 is the safe temperature. It's 190. So we're good to go. Look how nice and crispy the skin got on that. Looks great. I am getting a larger. Um, Copper Chef coming in the mail this week, but didn't get here in time for this. Let's see how we can get this out of here. We'll transfer it to the plate. We're going to let it just um, rest for a few minutes while I get the vegetables out of the pan. Can we see everything? All right, I'm going to scoop out the vegetables. They have some nice chicken um, juices on here and also the spices that we put on for the parsley and we'll put these all on one nice big plate. Boy, this smells good. Really smells good. Um, we could take the juices from the pan and make some gravy. I'm not going to do that tonight, but that would be a great thing you could do. Because look at all the nice um, pieces of chicken that drip down into the pan. It would make a nice gravy. Okay. 
get the pan out of here. And go back and look at the chicken just to give you an idea how nice this is inside. Cut the legs apart here. It's so hot, but it's falling apart. Look at that. <laughs> Let's cut into the nice breast meat here. Look at that. Nicely done, nice and juicy. This is beautiful chicken. Nice and moist. Another winner for the Copper Chef pan. <laughs> Want to taste it? It's just very hot. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Very nice. So, see how easy that was to put together? I did it in a few minutes. Carrots, potatoes, throw them in the bottom. Little olive oil. And sit the chicken on top. I like those Purdue's that are already um, ready for the oven. That worked really nice for this meal. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like the Copper Chef pan, I'll put the link to it in my description below so it's easy for you to find. And um, if you like the videos, subscribe and come back and watch some more. I appreciate you stopping by to watch them. See you later.